Welcome to the Sports Sport Podcast, episode 64, where we talk about a variety of different topics, uncensored, unedited, and unfiltered. Uh, you know how I told you guys we had a surprise that one day, and it, then it didn't happen? Well, it's here now. So I talked about it? Yes! Oh, I, really? I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't I didn't. spoil it, but I did say, everyone, this is Ota. Uh, uh, for, Ota is a foreign exchange student yeah. that goes to my school. He is uh, in... My band class, he is what first chair for no for, for, for saxophones. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And then you also played bass drum for uh, marching band. Yeah. So yeah, uh, he had a bright idea to record videos together, and so he already recorded a video on uh, on his channel. Uh, I don't know what rate this will be up. This gets up pretty quick. So if this is up before then. The video link will be down below, or the link to his channel will be down below. Go support him, all that fun jazz. How are you today, sir? I'm good. You're Thank good. you for having me. Of course, man. Of course, <laughs> man. I, I, I didn't know you saw even knew mm. I... What made you want to reach out? I will say that. What made you want to reach out? Uh, I was always uh, like watching your stories. Mm. And I knew, your, you ha- I knew you have the podcast and YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. So I wanted, I just wanted to like... I thought it was cool to be, it would be cool mm. to like record together. How long, how long did you know about it preemptively before you finally asked? Mm? How long did you know beforehand before you finally were just like, you know, I'm going to ask? Was it like a, I don't know, or you just, you found out then asked? Yeah, I just, I was like. Because I figured you were going to bring Maggie over here. Be a thing to do. <laughs> I swear, I thought you were going to bring three people and just be like, all right, well, welcome. Party <laughs> we in should, the house we tonight. Do that, yeah. I'm all, I'm yeah. all for it. You're yeah. welcome. You're more than welcome to. I am all for it. So, obviously, with you being a foreign exchange student, comes a lot of, of the stereotypical stupid questions like, oh, what's the difference between this and America? Yeah. I'm not going to do that. I'm not that boring. <laughs> all right? I'm not that boring. We're gonna, we'll okay. ask some of those questions in there. Okay. But uh, we'll, we'll ask you uh, in terms of, like, more of, um, like, the most, more specifically. A, how the hell did you get in band? Because... You just came over here and became the best sax the school has seen oh. in years. Uh, okay. How did how did you how, 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 how did you get into band overall first or music overall? Okay, so my uh, study world agency. I have I have to upload a video about myself, like introducing myself. Mm-hmm. I uploaded it, and I included that, that I played saxophone. Mm-hmm. I played the saxophone, so my host family. Watch the video, and I know you, Maggie and Andrew, like also play the instrument. Yeah, Maggie and so Andrew my whole family thought it would be cool to have me. Yeah, just combine. You took the two most talented taxes and put them <laughs> in the same house. I was like, what is happening? So, but like, that's funny. Yeah, and they uh, so they hosted me, and they they wanted to like. They wanted me to join the marching band. Oh, yeah. That was the indoctrination. Yeah, I was in. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I wanted to do it too. You wanted to yeah, do yeah. it. Yeah, so, yeah. So, because is there marching band? In, well, is there marching band in Japan? Yeah, yeah, I was in the, the marching band in Japan too. Okay. And, like I was doing. I was doing it for three years. Three years. In Japan. Okay. So I'm like pretty much professional. Oh, pretty much, pretty much, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Were you always percussion? No, I, I only played the saxophone. So I was. So you just decided to come to America and decide yeah. to switch straight from a saxophone to like a fourth bi- size, the fourth biggest bass drum yeah, I was in the in line. A cadence. Oh, yeah. okay. So okay, so that wasn't it wasn't like completely new. So you yeah, understood. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, what would you say is the biggest difference between? Is, is there any difference between band over there and band from your experience here? Okay, so we practice every day, uh, Monday to Saturday, mm. after school, 4 to 7. So we oh, that makes practice sense. a lot. So no wonder you're better than all of us. We are, our, <laughs> practice, our practice is just an hour. Yours is 4 to 7 every day except Sunday. Yeah, so like so, yeah. every member is so good. Uh, every like member is every member is that like, yeah every, every member is that. were you first chair over there or no 
I yeah, I was first the first. Year. So you're the best of the yeah. You can you decided to come save us because <laughs> yeah. Maggie was doing like I don't know his thing. The sax section before you got there was already really, really good. Like, I'm making it sound like it was, like, they were ass and then you showed up. No, you were, like, they were really good. And then we just started to add you. Whereas I feel like other sections need more help than others. I'm not going to say no names, but if you know, you know. But, no. Uh, Do they know about Maggie? The, your audience? Oh, they don't. I I, I swear I mentioned. I feel like <laughs> I have no clue. I don't know if I mentioned Maggie. Out here. I know I mentioned. Uh, for those who don't know, Maggie is also uh, a saxophone player and yeah. um, in our my band because you know I did marching band, um, and she was also our drum major. Yeah. Um. So and she's your host part. She's the host family. Sister, uh, the yeah. host sister. Host sister. That's a thing. Yeah, a yeah. host sister. Yeah. Okay. So how's how is that? You know how how how's that been? Because I know she's very like. <laughs> oh my god! If you need anything, I'm here for you. Like yeah. she's very nice. She's very she's sweetheart. She was sweet, but she's not. Nah, she's not. She's that, mean to me. Now. She's mean to you. Yeah, not yeah, yeah. Then you're really yeah. your friend now, boy. Yeah. Like <laughs> okay, I said, so she'd be very nice. She should be like, no, shut yeah. up. <laughs> my my house is so loud. Like, cause we both play the saxophone. Yeah. So I, I, my I, room is here, and Maggie's room here, and. My host brother Andrew's room is here. Andrew, Jesus. So he's Trump. This is that you you live in a house full of music because yeah. Maggie does did chorus. She does like she does she does she's in the musical with us for Mamma Mia. Yeah. She she sings and dances and then she does saxophone. Mm. Andrew does the cello and yeah. the trombone. Yeah. And yeah, you're just in a house full of music, man. Yeah. So how how is that being like 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 that kind of. Were you nervous to come here? Was it a... Oh. Or was it just a thing where you're like, we'll see what happens? I always wanted to be the U.S. as a high school student. Because I, I have been watching, like, Disney Channel, like... Oh, Jesus. High school uh, dramas. No! <laughs> high, school, high school TV shows and, like, high school musical. Like, I never watch high school musical, actually. Just, like, uh, like, there's a lot of... American high school TV shows, right? Oh, Jesus. And I was... And you came to Centennial yeah. after seeing high school fucking yeah. musical. I was imagining, like, high school, like, as that is, that, like, a TV show high school. Mm-hmm. Now you've learned. Yeah, it's not that. Like, yeah, that no. Same. Sorry to disappoint you. Sam. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, no, high school musical was a horror. If we were all singing, could you imagine we were all singing? All the- <laughs> I... The school shooting rates in America would have gone up if that yeah. was the case. Because everybody was singing all the time. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> what, what are we eating for breakfast <laughs> today? Da, da. No, you're dead. You're dead. Don't yeah. come to school tomorrow. Uh, but uh, that's that's funny. So you show up, right? First day at Centennial, the great Centennial United, mm-hmm. the greatest, most safest, never been a fight there ever. School. <laughs> uh, how how are you feeling? Because because you you like straight up just because he was in my theater class. Uh huh. Yeah. And he just didn't show up his first day. <laughs> he was like just in the wrong side yeah. of the building. And he's like, hey, Miss Harris comes up to me. He's like, hey, there's one other senior here. And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, in this class, but he isn't here. Is his name Ota. And I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> He's supposed to be down here, is he not? And they're like, no. I'm like, yeah, Ota, you're like in the completely wrong part of the building. Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> my what? teacher didn't say a thing. So. She didn't say yeah, anything. Yeah. Just, just sitting there, like, yeah. then call Rome was like, hmm, this one kid hasn't said a word and isn't yeah, on my I, roster. I introduced myself to the class. Who, bro? Come on, Shirley. Who, who you? Who were you? What class were you in? The, oh, uh, it was like, criminal thing, like criminal justice. It's like right there though. It's right there. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a criminal justice class. Mm. She didn't say whatever. She didn't say a thing. So that makes no sense. What? what did it say theater on your schedule? Because you, like, I surely you had to walk in there and be like, this doesn't look like theater. Yeah. yeah. Like, like surely, <laughs> yeah. surely you had to look in there and be like, yeah. this doesn't look like I'm gonna be acting. It's like I'm gonna be unless we're just gonna be acting in a courtroom. Like, <laughs> just, like, like surely. Yeah. That was the first day. So that was the first day that you. Did. I didn't. I didn't. 
the beautiful. And have a clue, so. So, yeah, yeah. now you navigate in pretty well, and now you're not even in the theater class anymore yeah. because you need a required course to graduate now. Yeah. How's, how's, how's American government? <laughs> it's, I mean, it's not difficult because I've been taking uh, U.S. history, but, I mean, there's a lot of homework, so yep. it's hard. Yeah, Mr. Washington. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Theory class was so easy, you know, like, you just play the game. You just talk. <laughs> <laughs> like, Wait, who do you have for that class? Who did you have? Huh? Who did you have as a teacher for that one? The theater? Oh, oh no, I was talking about theater. I thought you, about, I thought you yeah. had Jacoby for U.S. history. Yeah, no, theater, uh, you just kind of show up. Yeah. And, yeah. like, get an A. And then like, yeah, every yeah, once in yeah. a while she'll give you like a prop a project to do, and if you just don't do it, you'll like fail the class. But if you do do it, you'll just be fine where you're at. Mm-hmm. So if you fail that class, I feel like you have to try it. <laughs> I feel like you're just you have to be a next level dumbass to fail yeah. that class. <laughs> I just feel. Um, but yeah, no. Um, how how did you enjoy? Did you enjoy this year's season for Marching Band? I didn't mean to ask you that because I've been asking uh, people all around. <laughs> yeah, but it, yeah, I did enjoy it. You enjoyed it? You yeah, enjoyed it? That's, that's good. That's good. Yeah, that's good. I met some friends and yeah. That, that, that's good. I would be boring if I didn't join it, so. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, I've had some very mixed reviews from different people. <laughs> yeah. My God, dude. I, that's why I was like, I probably wish you were in leadership because my. <laughs> Maggie will tell you. There was this yeah. one meeting where like everything went to, where like it was about to end, the end of it all. We were about uh-huh. to. Uh, I'm trying to remember which it was like. I don't know. It was a, it was a it was a practice where I was being like the gym, right? The gym practice. Those those sucked, but there was one. Was, it was regular practice. Uh-huh. Um, and I don't know. I, I think it was just people kept messing up on simple shit, uh-huh. a very regular occurrence in our band, sadly. And I don't know. This was one of those days where like everything was going wrong, and I was being particularly extra extra. Ver- vocal <laughs> yeah. with my displeasures <laughs> with what was happening and Maggie being you know no fault to her by the way like I apologize um she heard this and uh, decided to call it a leadership meeting because it was, wasn't just me it was multiple other people and it was a very heated meeting for about 10 minutes mm-hmm. because she was like trying to figure out what was going on and trying to keep us up positive because she was trying to be very like guys we can do it you know very go get her at- attitude and you know we were just like nah but <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like like she was just like like oh no this it was specifically the part that that made her kind of get upset was um it was particularly me and zach i think that was getting upset about you know because um ever kept yelling us about about specific movements we're doing, and I'm like, we kind of can't see the drum majors to keep in time. Mm-hmm. So can you like fix that? <laughs> and then after, and then Ben Ben is telling her the same thing, like we can't see the drum majors. And then Maggie proceeds to go, just look at the drum majors. And me and Zach just start bursting out laughing, oh. <laughs> and because she was like, just look at the drum majors, and I'm like. Were <laughs> it's just like, 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 during the meeting, yes, you this, burst out loud? no, laughing? yes, me, that's what made her. She was like, Why are you laughing? I'm like, He just said, Look, you just oh. said, Look at the drum majors, can't see them, like, there is no seeing you. Where are you? Where are you? We don't see you, yeah, but you know, uh, but she did out, uh, she, did, she did a pretty good job, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm very proud of her, uh, especially since, um, she was very nervous. I don't know, I don't know yeah. if she. Did she tell you? Tell you how nervous she was? Or yeah. Did you tell? Cause she's junior. Yeah. Like, she yeah. Was, yeah. She was stressed out. She was very. She was stressed. She was stressing herself. That's why I kept yeah. trying to. I tried to keep her confidence up. I tried to. I tried to do that from yeah. time to time because like. She was drumming though. She was. She was. Yeah, pretty, she yeah. was actually alright. She she had a few bumpy spots, but I think she recovered very well, mm. and she was very hardworking. And I'm very proud of her because uh you know she was very like unsure of herself at the beginning of the season a lot mm. in terms of like asserting herself mm. and asserting that respect and I think when she needed to mm. she was able to do that and I, I said she did a pretty solid job not bad I've seen a lot worse on their first year so um, I am I'm very proud of her and and uh, the band is in good hands with her mm. even the band is is in good hands with her regardless let it be on the field or off the field mm. uh, they're in good hands with her so if she ever sees this I'm proud of you. I don't give a damn what no one says. Don't give a shit what no one says. I'm proud of you. I'm gonna make I, her. I called it. 
Yeah. I called it from the jump, though. I said, the minute I seen her on the first year, I was like, man, she's going to be Joe Major. Mm. I said, <laughs> I swear to God, it's on record. I said oh. this to everybody. I was like, okay. I looked at it. I was like, Joe Major. Mm. That was like, really? Yeah. 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 And it happened. I was like, are you... I always, I, yeah, so I tried to always tell her because she would always be, sometimes she'd just be very, like, I don't know, kind of down to herself. And I'm like, if you don't get the fuck out of here, and like, like, if you are down on yourself and you're bad, the rest of us are fucked. I just want to let you know, the rest of us are screwed because you're one of our best musicians, period. Yeah. We're screwed. Like, yeah. Yeah. if you're bad, we're fucked. I'm just yeah. keeping it real. <laughs> but, uh, no, if she sees that, yeah, you know, she's she's awesome. Uh, she's awesome. Andrew, I'm actually, I was actually very impressed with too. Andrew, I, Andrew, yeah. Okay. Uh, we 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 Parker and them they they yelled at him a lot. But <laughs> um, funny enough, what I realized is that he was bored at times. Bored? Yeah, because he knew his stuff. So oh yeah. yeah when yeah. he wanted when he learned it, he learned it quick and he just knew it. Like I remember one time I was during band camp, he was kept talking while Maddox and Parker were teaching, and uh. Maddox or Parker was like, do you know your part? And he's like, yeah. And she's like, okay, play it. Mm-hmm. And he played it perfectly. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> and I was just like, oh my God. And they were just, they couldn't say nothing except, well, okay, even though you play it well, just be quiet because other people don't know yeah, your part. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> he shuts y'all asses up. That's tough. So, yeah, no. Um, uh, so how, how are you feeling after like a first semester of, of 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 being in school here um i was i really got used to it but just cool Very quickly yeah, yeah yeah like i don't i can't i sometimes miss my japanese cool but mm. yeah it's i'm probably i'm having fun that's good yeah that's good. the biggest thing is to have fun because this is all part of the experience yeah yeah uh do you do you do you do, do you prefer the Japanese school still? Uh, because I tell you what, when you get back, in terms of like the intense stuff being back, it's gonna kick your ass trying to get back adjusted to that. No, I'm gonna graduate here. So oh, I'm you're like, gonna graduate. You're gonna be. Oh, you're graduating here. Yeah, you're yeah. walking here. Hmm? Are you walking graduation here? Like you're hmm. walking the stage? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. Nice, 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 nice. So I'm not gonna. I don't have to go back to my Japanese school, but like, yeah, it's so different. It I is. can choose one, but yeah. You're gonna choose to be here. Yeah, yeah. We're honored, sir. Yeah. Honored, honored, honored. Appreciate yeah. It. Here they here first. Go, America. Let's go. The first day, like, no, like first week, I I saw school fight on the hallway. Yeah. You're like, you got introduced into the real centennial life. You're like, I don't know what. Oto. Caused it, but like. But like two girls were fighting. Mm-hmm. Like, did you did you does that I, does that happen a lot in, in, at your at your school? No, no, never, never, never. So never. I was surprised because like. Well. <laughs> yeah, they were. Like, oh, so like, this year has been relaxed. That's. Oh the, really? Has no one told you about what happened last year? No what? About the shit show that last year was. No. <laughs> no. Buckle up, buckaroo. Let me. I have a story to tell. All right. Uh-huh. <laughs> now, okay. We're gonna paint the picture for you. All right. Mm-hmm. We're gonna. We just. This, 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 keep it up. All right. What I'm. Everything I'm about to tell you that took place, mm-hmm. all happened in one semester. Mm-hmm. So there was a fight the first day of school. Okay. It was fight the second day of school. Okay. We averaged about two fights, two or three fights a week. Whoa. Uh. The. I don't know if you heard of this, the hit a lick challenge mm. where people kept like, I don't know, stealing shit uh-huh. and destroying bathrooms. Yeah, that happened here. Uh, they took a sink off the wall. Mm. Why that gate is on the bathroom down there. Oh, that bathroom? That, yeah, yeah bathroom. they took a whole sink off the wall. That's why oh. that, That's why that gate's there. Uh, there's a metal gate, by the way, at the boys' restroom now next to the band hall. Thanks, jackasses. Thanks. Um, <laughs> yeah, they completely destroyed... Uh, Sit, sinks, destroy, kick the toilets out the floor, mm. uh, smeared napkins and mirrors, all this stuff. They stole soaps and just broke all the dispensers and shoved them in the toilets. Uh, like fights all the time. And then the coup de gras of coup de gras. This was all by September. Mm. There was a stabbing. Oh, I, yeah, I heard of that. Yeah! 
Send 10 United, baby. Oh, my. United we stand. United we fall. <laughs> <laughs> so, and that was first semester. That was by December. That's why like, this year, this this year has felt shorter than that one semester. When I thought, when we got finished, I thought it was summer break. Then I realized we had a whole half a year left. Oh, no. It aged me. Because I remember that was the same year I had my foot injury. I marched the full year mm-hmm. with a boot on. Mm-hmm. And all that. So all that feels like multiple years to me. In my brain, I keep thinking it was like my sophomore year. No, Ota. It was all one Last year, year Wait, Ota. So what happened to second semester, though? Like? Second semester, it calmed down a lot. Oh, okay. But there were still a lot of fights. There were still the remnants of like the Lick Challenge. people. Another sink got stomped out the last week of school. Uh-huh. Uh... People kept destroying stuff, mm-hmm. um, fights, yeah. fights were still rampant. It wasn't, as, like I said, it wasn't as much. I think the, I think the stabbing kind of was just like, oh, let's dial it back. Yeah. Um, but still a lot of stuff happened. Um, all that fun jazz. Uh, I'm probably missing a couple, but I was, I seen a lot, I have a lot of the videos of the fights, I, you know, so I seen a girl get, there was a whole brawl at breakfast the first semester mm. uh which is why we now we can't eat breakfast past 8 a.m mm. because of that there was a brawl it was really one fight mm. leading into another so it was it was this giant mexican kid and this one black kid going to fight there the teachers were separating then three guy there was like three v one and another guy one guy took that chest to swing on him. it was three guys versus one then two guys from like the opposite end of the lunchroom ran over and joined the fight. So there was like a six man brawl. I have the video. It's a six man brawl. One kid got flipped out his Crocs. One teacher tackled another kid, and it was just mayhem. And that's why we couldn't. No. Yeah. That never happened in Japan. Like, we don't even have police in school. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So. No. It's a it's a big difference. You really went out to the slums, didn't you? You really came. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I saw that in like first week. So I was so scary. Yeah, scary. woo! I was so scary because like. Shout out the security guard. I thought that would happen to me. The school so fight. Get, nah, man. So I wouldn't have let it happen. I'm yeah. gonna keep it real. Yeah. I've i I've, I've, surprisingly as much as much as loud as I am and as mm-hmm. as annoying it can be, mm-hmm. I've ne- never gotten in a fight. Okay. <laughs> so uh, and I and the thing is you're you're too nice and you have no there'd be no reason mm-hmm. to mess with. The thing is those people are all people who fight over stupid things or uh-huh. talk shit. Mm, yeah, yeah. So they get themselves in trouble more than anything, and they're all very highly emotional mm-hmm. and be like like if you talk and you say, "What did you say about my mom?" <laughs> Yeah. And that's and that's it. Yeah. Um. Whereas no, there's no reason there would be a fight there. So I don't. Mm. I don't know. I almost got. I, not almost got. But the closest really? ever got to a fight in band, which is fucking hilarious. What? Okay. The band? Listen, listen. There wasn't a fight, but it was a very heated discussion. Mm. One sided. I'll have you mind. I was upset. Mm. Uh. So uh, there was this kid, Rowan. Shout out to him, man. Shout out to him. I don't know how he feels about me. I don't, he, he might not like me because of that. Or he probably mm-hmm. already forgot about it. Shout out to you, sir. You were cool. Trombone player. <laughs> um, so, like, pretty much, this is what I still had the boot on. I was still marching. And um, I was talking during mm-hmm. rehearsal, but we were literally standing there for 30 minutes doing nothing. He was a very, me and him were polar opposites. Mm-hmm. I'm very, like, go with the flow. I'm, I'm all for like getting work done, but if stuff don't happen, it's not my control. I'm not gonna stress about it. Mm-hmm. He's very, it must be controlled. It must be detailed. This thing is too sloppy. We're gonna lose. He's losing his shit, and I'm just like, yo, bro, relax. So I'm talking to like my section. I think it's like Henry. I'm talking to Henry at the uh, at the time, mm-hmm. and Aaron tells me to be quiet, and I'm like, like, but in his condescending a hole way that he does to me, and I'm like, shut up, Aaron. And I'm joking around. Um, I'm walking off the field. Uh, on our water break and Rowan just starts like complaining at me about me not caring and I'm, and about me and I'm like yo relax it's not that serious like mm-hmm. chill out and then he starts going off and he's like you just don't care and I'm like congratulations sir you've pointed out the obvious I am so proud of you right dead in his face and it got so loud that Mr. Murphy who was like a, the, the choreography guy at the time mm-hmm. had to like told us to walk different directions and I'm just like what's wrong with you no. you flipping the moron you're absolutely right I do not care I, why did it take you this long to figure out and like no I was I was an asshole I was the absolute you asshole. graduated right 
He graduated. Okay, okay. He'll probably never see this. Okay. But that okay. was like the closest in terms of like bands. I've never like 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 I don't think there's ever been a time where I've wanted to hit anyone in band. It's, <laughs> it's, I'm sorry, it's bad. it's bad, dog. I saw the same year I saw my junior year. There was also fight at the band competition. In a band? They're, they're Not in band. our band, but in a different band. Oh, okay. Some dude that was like some. Apparently, it was like some gang member. He was like some gay dude. Wanted to fight this big gay dude. He was like, nah, bro. Come see me, bro. And he was like pacing outside the venue. And I'm like, dog, you don't shut up and watch these tubas dance, bro. Mm. And stop trying to fight people. Mm. When you gangster playing the trumpet, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> like it, I, I was watching that. Me and Zion were watching that. It was just like, it's so stupid. I don't know yeah. what was happening. It was just like, this is the dumbest shit I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. Like, why? Like, because they called, they called, it was Metal Creek High School. And, mm. and someone called Metal Creek Ghetto Creek. And he got pressed about that. I'm like, man, you're really passionate about your school spirit. <laughs> like, you're ready to fight because someone called you Ghetto Creek. Yeah, it's just brother. I'm like, yeah. people who chill on Centennial, know what we tell them? They're right. That's it. We don't fight over that. We don't fight over, like, school names. I don't know. What's the closest you've been? Have you ever been to a fight, Otto? No, never. Never been to a fight? Never. Have you ever been close? Like, with my siblings, yeah, but so no, like, but not no, friends. No one else, dude, ever, no, ever no. just had the unfuel rage to just punch someone square in their face? Never once? No. I'm no. Sure. <laughs> no. I respect your self-control, yeah. sir. I respect your self-control, sir. I, like, most of Japanese, I think most of Japanese haven't, mm. like, got into fight. So Really? Yeah. Mm. It's a big difference. So, certain, so what, what are the certain things that are, like, very common here that aren't common there? Just like how people act. Like if you like when you like feel angry or like not good about someone, you mm-hmm. don't show that to people. So you, you keep it very stoic. Keep yeah, it very you like you do booing, right? Yeah, all the booing, yeah. We don't do that, and like... Yeah, you know, that's all the work, work yeah, up. Yeah. You, your nation's very... Y'all, y'all help clean up. You're very honorable. Yeah. Which I know you guys, because uh, I had a, uh, I had a Korean math teacher mm-hmm. a couple years ago. She's, she actually still teaches there. And she... I, I know there was culture to, like, clean up the classroom after you use yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. had us do that, mm-hmm. which is, I mean, I had no problem doing that. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was very interesting to see that, because I'm like, huh, she brought it over here, which is cool. Mm-hmm. So that's definitely one of them. So you say... So you do, you just, do you ever, like, bring it to that person that you guys have an issue, or you just let it boil inside until you snap? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> because, because I will say, uh-huh. while it is, I do agree with, like, keeping it, you don't have to always be, like, out of nowhere, oh, fuck, like, you don't yeah. have to always do that, but, like, at some point, you do release that. So in terms of, like, how you deal with, like, emotions, like, say you're mad at that or mad at yourself, like, say, because you're an artist, you you play the instrument, right? Uh-huh. We've we've all had rough practices. Uh-huh. How do you deal with those feelings when you're like so shit? Which I swear to God, if you ever say that, I'm gonna flip you. <laughs> I swear, because you don't understand how talented this man is. You do not understand. I wish um, he brought a sax. You didn't bring it. So how do you usually deal with those when I'm like those rough days? You say. So I was when I was in Japan. I was like, I I scream. On my room, <laughs> like into my pillow, but I can do that here because my whole family will. Have you felt like, that way? Did the need to scream into a pillow since you've gotten here? No, no, I'm good since so I, far. Look, but. look, you can say what you want. Mental health is universal. I'm just <laughs> man. I don't give a shit. I don't give a damn. <laughs> Mental health is universal, man. Uh, have you ever seen Maggie angry? Like we're like really angry. No. I'm very curious because Ma- Maggie Maggie's very good at keeping things very. Uh, like I said, we'll, we'll, we'll pause the camera for the answer. Okay, so yeah, Andrew, at yeah. Andrew, which is and... understandable, bro. <laughs> nah, I won't hold you. I didn't. I yeah. didn't know Andrew and Maggie were siblings for like about yeah. a good. They're day. siblings, so. I didn't know that until mm. I like way after I threatened Andrew. Mm. So, oh. sorry! <laughs> Maggie you knows I told her already. I was like, yeah, I kind of threatened him. And I didn't know he was your brother. Because uh, yeah. he kept throwing f- the turf into Henry's tuba. What? Yeah. The <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was... Look! Look! 
He was like, yeah, he kept throwing the football turf into Henry's, like, the belt inside the tuba, which would damage it. These tubas are already rickety as hell. <laughs> so, when Henry told me that, he kept doing it, but did you tell him to stop? He was like, yeah. And I'm just like, and I'm like, across the field. I'm just like, Andrew! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you do that again, <laughs> I'm going to put you in it next. Yeah. <laughs> and he just stared at me and walked away. <laughs> and and come to find out later, I was like, "Wait, Watson, Maggie, what? Oh, yeah. wait, Maggie, is that your brother?" <laughs> I had no clue. I had no idea. I didn't think they looked alike, so I was just yeah. like, and then I never seen them walk home together. I never seen them get in the car together. So I just mm. saw that he showed up, and I was just like, "Bro." What's wrong with you? Like, <laughs> like, that's all. But he's a cool dude, man. He's a cool yeah, they're dude. They're different. They're very different. Yeah, they're very, very. They couldn't be more different. Yeah. They, they could <laughs> not be any more different. <laughs> yeah. Oh my! And then they just throw you in the dynamic, which is very <laughs> middleman. It's just to watch it happen. <laughs> I feel like you just like like I just picture it where it's like those two are arguing, and you're just sitting there in silence, just yeah. That's exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you, you're right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that happens all the time. Oh, my God. Yeah. Dude, dude, bro, I mean, bro, I tell you, man. I, I was, like I said, I was very proud of her when uh, she won, um, when she went up there and, like, she first yelled at niggas. When she first yelled at people to shut up, I was uh-huh. like, <laughs> yes! Yeah. This is what I wanted! <laughs> this is what we're here for! Um, let's see. I'm trying to see what, what, other, what other questions. Do you have any questions from... Oh, what was your first impression of me? Oh. Oh, yes. I think that was a band camp. Because I, I don't remember the first time you officially spoke. I just remember one day I spoke to you because you didn't... You were the first day of school when you missed theater. But when, when you first see my big, loud ass <laughs> at band. I got it. I've got to be curious. I've been asking people this because since we are about to leave, I got to know what was your first impression of me. So we were in a band camp this summer and we played uh, like some game after lunch to like get to know each other. Guys. Okay. Like, that was like, that feels so long ago. You have to hold people or Oh, the wait, 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 wait. Um, Maggie would say something. the ships, the ships and sailors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, and I, th- I think you like said something to me during the game. Oh, I, was, I think exactly. I joked around saying you're gonna have to pick me up, Alta. Yeah, and yeah, I was like, that. that was the only thing yeah. I said to you, and then I just picked you up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're. Yeah, I thought you were, like, very loud. Yes, <laughs> like, I still am very yeah, loud. Funny yeah, funny and, like, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, glad, glad I wasn't an asshole. <laughs> yeah. Seeing you, Jesus yeah. Christ. yeah, just in case you don't know, don't, you guys didn't watch the one video I talked about this, I'll explain <laughs> it again. Um, so, uh, to keep it short, 200 pounds of wood fell on me and pinned me down, and this man, in return for me saving him, yeah. five or six people had to save me, because <laughs> it's about to be the end of it all. <laughs> um... It was theater day. It was build day for theater. We were both in the play, school play, Mamma Mia. Mm. And he was on sets. I was on costumes. I wasn't doing anything. I'm, I'm the biggest guy there, so they needed help grabbing sheets of wood to build into props or sets or paint or whatever. And it's in this really small crevice corner. Like I said, whoever put that in there, your, your IQ needs to be retested because I don't know who decided to put all that wood there. They're foolish. Yeah. Um... So it was like me holding him about like 200 pounds and it was at a weird angle to where I couldn't hold it well enough. And it, it fell on my arm the first time. Like the first time it fell was just my arm. It's this all this arm. I think that's where most of this injury happened. This is more my thumb. Um, I, I, guess I think it might be sprained. I don't know. But no bones are broken. And then the second time uh, I was said I was having more people. More people were grabbing stuff and I was saying pull up and out a specific mm-hmm. way. And I bumped someone to get them out the way because then I started falling. I fell and my face planted on the wood that was already there. And then all 200 pounds of wood that I was holding up just went. Yeah. And yeah, and then I was just pinned. And then uh, obviously big man Ota here, big muscle man Ota here had to save me. <laughs> Him and like six people had, and I had to like roll my way out here with yeah. one arm. And when I entered the room, like he's 
<laughs> he said it was literally under the like. Yeah, it was like literally, literally. like it was quite literally. My head and like my whole right body yeah. were pinned under. Yeah. Um, yeah. I just remember Daniel just being like, "Move." <laughs> How? Like, I'm just... There's no yeah. moving. Yeah. And, uh, and then it was just, like, six people were just, like, shit. And then I just remember seeing... I remember, like, walking out that room mm. with, like, with, like my arm just not existing. I'm just yeah. walking, and I'm like... And Miss Harris is just like, what happened? And I told her what happened. She's just like... And this look of just anger on her face. Yeah. And look, just looked at Aoi. like, this is why I told you to grab it a specific way. Pretty much the way I explained to her <laughs> how to grab it. <laughs> and she just... <laughs> and you know what? Yeah, I held no hard feelings. A lot of other people made a bigger deal out of it than I did. Um, I went to the... I, I had to drive home. I drove Driving home with one arm is very interesting, let me tell you. <laughs> and it is very interesting. Um, uh, and we went to the urgent care. And so no bones are broken from what the x-rays say. And no fractures or anything. So we're good. Um, no internal bleeding in my chest or stomach, because that was the way I worried about, too, because I did face plant. Um, I just got a cut around here, which could be bleeding at this moment. We don't know. It, it, it was fine this morning that it started bleeding again, but it's not a big deal. This, and then my knee was hurting, but it's fine. My knee didn't, there was nothing wrong with my knee. So we're going to go at some point to the doctors and, and uh, try to figure out what the hell we're going to see. Um see what the hell this is see if there's any torn muscles or anything but yeah um now the theater kids didn't know me now they know me yeah because <laughs> they knew me beforehand for all positives i was the big strong guy, yeah, guy. now i'm the big strong guy that almost died <laughs> so yeah. building reputation everywhere else this is <laughs> all all about introductions <laughs> Making an impact when people meet you. Make yourself memorable. Yeah. That is the lesson we learn here today. <laughs> Make yourself memorable. Leave an impact that people never forget. That's because that's what really matters. Uh, but yeah, how, how are you feeling when that happened? Because because were you there when it officially fell, or were you just there when I was just down? Uh, I saw you, like I saw me fall. You saw yeah, yeah, yeah. Me. And I like left the room to call help. Because yeah. there were some doubts there. What I'm saying, there was like the, like the adults showed up late, which I'm like, yo, yeah, yeah. Your so, whole purpose was to make sure this wouldn't happen. <laughs> I couldn't find one, so I went back to the room, mm -hmm. and I saw it's getting it was getting worse. Like <laughs> was more falling on me because I fe yeah, yeah. it felt heavier. You you were like screaming, but you can't you couldn't move. So like yeah, because he can't. He's he's because I remember is he can't. I can't move. Yeah. I yelled. I couldn't move, and then Daddy was like, "Shit, hold up!" And I'm just like, "Lift!" I'm just like, "Lift up! Lift yeah, up!" Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, "Lift up! Yeah. Lift up!" He was literally between the like wood and like heavy wood. Yeah, yeah. No, that was that was. I literally it just felt like from what I remember it just really felt like pressure. It, like it felt uh, yeah, like yeah. this. Like it literally felt like someone was just doing this to my head, and I'm like, "Okay, mm. lift up." That's all. Yeah. And then I, I I just remember seeing like. 12 pairs of legs and they're like all like fuck we can't lift this up and i'm like all right fuck it because i rolled my body out first mm -hmm. and then they weren't able to lift it so it fell on my arm again mm -hmm. and it just trapped my arm and i was just like lifted with my other arm and it rolled out and then i still had the nerve to pull the piece of wood y'all needed out and then walk out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah and there was no ice available so we used a chicken pot pie people <laughs> so we got that and a meal so mm -hmm. Who's a loser now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, and I'm not, we're not going to be there for the next build day. Hmm? We're, not gonna, we're not going to be there for the next build day. Well, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Because yeah. Jam Fest, baby! What chair placement do you think you're going to get? Because uh, I don't know how many uh, saxes will apply for this. I don't know. Yeah, uh, there's, a, there's like some bands, right? It's multiple bands. I don't, I don't remember how many to be exact, and depending on how good your pre audition was, yeah. uh, my audition probably wasn't going to be that good. So I'll probably get placed in like a lower band, honestly, which I don't really care. I like. I just, I just hope I, I'm in a band where I know people or people where I know there aren't a holes, because hmm. musicians can be kind of a douchey. Yeah, yeah. They're like, oh my god, you don't buzz since you were born. Yeah. Pathetic, <laughs> pathetic, and I'm like. You don't go outside. It's not the same. Yeah. <laughs> I wanna be, uh, I wanna be in the same band with like Centennial Kids. We are. Centennial Kids are gonna be. Yeah, I wanna be 
Oh, yeah. oh, I yeah. know we are. Oh. I don't care like the yeah. class. Uh, yeah, I just want to. Yeah, it's, yeah I, 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 I hope we're in the same band. Yeah, because yeah. It's, we're just in a bunch of kids I don't know and be like. Because also a lot of band kids don't know how to have like conversations, <laughs> and they'll just stare at you weird if you just start being like, "Hi, friend." They're like, <laughs> "What? Who are you?" <laughs> it's just like, that's that's it. And so I just I hope I'm, I know somebody at least, Jesus. Because yeah. I because even getting there makes no sense. The, the instructions <laughs> make no sense. <laughs> It's like uh, you might have a ride there, but then again, you might not. You don't know. <laughs> and then, as far as getting back, you're on your own, buddy. <laughs> and then, but like, because they said they said, uh, yeah, because then bring bring luggages. Oh, that's yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that's that's Jam Fest. We got invited to uh, uh, be part of this. Like, I don't know what is it? This little, like this ensemble thing, performance thing. Yeah, yeah. That they hold it here in in the good old Georgia, and yeah, we get to we get to perform there. We got chosen. We had to audition for chair placements, but we we're already in. So, um, and those were done that other day. So yeah, we're gonna literally have two days of school. Hmm? We're gonna have two days of school also. Yeah, we're gonna, gonna have Thursday. Wednesday and then Thursday that we leave really after school, which means someone's gonna have to come pick up my car, unless my mom just drops me off. Because I, because I'm saying it was, I'm not gonna leave my car here from Thursday to Sunday. Yeah, you're right. So um, I'm probably gonna have to tell my mom to bring me. Wait, so, wait, we're not gonna use the bathroom, right? I don't know. That's the thing. It's looking like chaperones just take you, mm. but at that point, why couldn't I then just drive my car to where I need it to? Because that, because was, I also gotta transport a tuba. And if yeah. you're trusting that there's going to be enough space for all those kids and a tuba and all their instruments. Yeah. Because, okay, let's, let's, let's see. Let's see what size. Because we have a group chat of everybody in it. So let's see how, how big. What, what I know I'm the biggest instrument, but let's see what what uh, 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 what what time. What time can it? What could possibly be here? Jam Fest 2023. So we have. We have uh, go here, go here. So we have Nao, who's flute piccolo. David VZ is a trombone. You saxophone. Sophia clarinet. Maggie saxophone. Mahaley flute. Mm-hmm. Kieran bassoon. Bass, I guess. Yeah. Unless he just chooses to play baritone, which is not going to be that good if he does. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Max trombone. So yeah, it's three trombones, an oboe, and a tuba are going to be the biggest thing. Yeah. I don't know if you can forward a tr- an oboe or not, but somebody's trunk better be amazing because if we don't take a bus, which I mean, you feel like you should, it'd be easier. Mm-hmm. So me, we maybe have to ride in some parents' car, right? They, they're saying that. Yeah. But then Mahaley's like, I'm not going to be able to have a ride there or back. Mm. So I don't, I don't know. So that, that's what I was like, I don't know. We need a whole, like, We need to. Everhart, Everhart's going to be like, figure it out. I'm going to look at him. <laughs> and be, and he's he's going to say, figure it out. I'm just going to look at him like, I'm going to steal your car. I'm just going <laughs> to. I swear to God, I'm, like, I'm just going to. I'll tell you, I'm going to steal. I'm like, if he's going to be like, figure it out. And I'm like. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. When I figure it out and your vehicle is gone, <laughs> this is it. I guess what did you want? Where is it, Michael? I figured it out. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> How are you? What are your impressions on Everheart, by the way? Hmm? Impressions on Everheart. What do you think about it? So, uh, um, honest, honest. He's never gonna see this. So I thought he was some kind of like really like. Not interested to their students. Oh, very like just music doesn't care about. Them. Yeah, I thought so, but I don't know. He actually, I don't know. He's sometimes good and he's sometimes. Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, no, I like it, him. He but. he has his own weird way of caring. Yeah. If he messes with you a lot, he cares. Yeah, yeah. Like he shits on me all the time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but apparently, apparently, yeah. according to my mom, he actually is pretty all right with me. And he actually trusts me enough to, 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 to help him do stuff, so. Yeah. Like, when I ask him to, like, give me advice more about my saxophone, he, like, he always do it for me. Mm-hmm. Like, he's a good, 
He's a good teacher, but he sometimes get moody, and I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> like during the class, I don't like that. Like when he gets moody, upset yeah. at people and starts yelling, yeah. or when he or when he's just be yelling for no reason. Like or both. <laughs> this is honest. He's never gonna see this. So just so this. So there's like sixty minutes class. About yeah, band. about fifty five, about fifty fifty five. Yeah, like almost. Oh, like like most of the time is Everhart's yelling. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, so we can't use that time to <laughs> practice. But he, he's he. <laughs> The all he says is practice, but he's <laughs> yelling. So I, he's can't. taking up the time to <laughs> rant and yell at how we're not practicing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god! And he pretty much like repeating the same thing. I mean, and his I oh, okay, I'm all for the devil's advocate. I agree with everything you're saying. Yeah, yeah. My thing is, is that some of those people in there. Oh yeah, yeah. You're right. They don't deserve to be there. I'm just gonna. I'm, just, I'm all. See, if it was me, me personally, <laughs> me personally, <laughs> certain people would have got dropped down to a different band. Yeah. I feel like if you took out certain people's bands and he, because because he wanted he wanted specific numbers. A monkey was, like, literally sleep in front of him. Like, yeah, on his phone too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, it was. It, there's two specific people I know for sure, but. Yeah. We ain't gonna say no names, but because you don't know, a friend or friend might see this. If, if, if you see this, I don't care. But um, get better. Uh, but yeah, no. So like, part of it is because, but I think he also likes to complicate things a little bit too much. He's trying to like introduce advanced con concepts to kids who don't still understand mm -hmm. what it truly means to master instrument. Mm -hmm. Like some people are, are respectfully, some people are up there because they're really good at their instrument. Like they're just like objectively, you belong in mastery band. Mm -hmm. Like you belong in mastery band. Maggie belongs in mastery band. Aaron belongs in mastery band. I feel like I belong in mastery band. Yeah. But there's just some people that are just like you're better than the rest of them. So I'm gonna put you here by default. Oh. Like you, you're here because you're the best out of them, and we need numbers, not because. Yeah, yeah, those classes are that you can still you can still learn anything in every single class, but this is the class that that would challenge you the most. Yeah, I feel like there's certain kids in there that belong still in the second band simply just because they haven't got they either don't aren't as passionate about it as much as as much as we are. Because mm. even marching band wise, even those a lot of those kids are from all over the place, but that was a very passionate group. Mm. I feel like a marching I feel like in mastery band it was very like. It's a mixed bag of people who are there because it's an easy A mm. versus those who actually want to get better at the instrument. Yeah. So that's just me. That's just me. So him and him yelling at everybody is just very interesting. There's a lot. Of, <laughs> there's a lot of people who are scared of him. It's so funny. Yeah. Henry is petrified of that man. Henry like, oh. well, like like uh, during Omanu, how we have like eight measures of music. Mm -hmm. We have eight measures. Mm -hmm. Of actual notes, the rest of it's just rests. Mm -hmm. He was so scared to ask uh, Everhart like if we could go to the practice room while y'all do Omanu because you guys play the same four chords for thirty minutes. Because uh, <laughs> um, he's like, change your role, change your role, and it's playing one note, and we have rest till H. <laughs> and and um. And he and and so he was so he was so scared he was just like Michael can you like can can, can you like can you like, can you like come with me to like ask him like can you raise your head too please yeah. and I'm just like oh my god Henry hey Mr. Everett, can we do it yes <laughs> yeah I don't know uh, I think it's because he 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 likes Henry but Henry doesn't realize that sometimes so he so he does what he does what he does and he just fucking fucks with he likes to fuck with people mm. Everhart likes to mess with people for no reason he'll be like. You suck, but you don't. But he knows you don't suck. He's, he's the same thing. I do the same thing. Like I would tell people who are actually good mm. that they suck because I know they're good. Yeah, yeah. I'll never tell someone that's actually bad they're bad because it's not a joke anymore. It's just, <laughs> it's just be yeah. honest. It's like, <laughs> like you mess up a note, Ota. I'm not gonna be like, like I'll be like, Ota. I ain't gonna hold you. That was kind of ass, my boy. I say that knowing you could play your ass off. Yeah. However, if you like couldn't play a lick and I was just like, damn, bro, you kind of like suck. <laughs> That's just <laughs> bullying at that point. Like, I'll I, create, I'll create <laughs>
<laughs> just like, huh, man, you should like quit. Like yeah. I've never quit. <laughs> I tell Sammy every day. I tell uh, I, I told Sammy a lot. Sammy, tighten up, dog. You kind of ass right now. Knowing that man by the end of this year will be better than me, yeah. and I am okay with that. He's gonna see this. Yeah, that was. A, <laughs> so trust me, Sammy. If you ever see this, hi. Uh, <laughs> Just know, sir, I am very proud of you and Matthew and Henry and Nathan, and I very look forward to y'all taking over the mantle of Tuba. So, there, in case I haven't officially said it, you all are very talented. You need to focus more, stop being a dumbass, uh, and get in the gym, sir. You know what I'm saying? Because if you your arm goes numb again, I swear to God, I'm not going to be there to save you. But, I digress. You, if They're talented. So, I would never tell someone that just is trash, hey, you're shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going to. I'm just never going to tell them that. Look, like, I'd mess with Maggie. I, I, I'd mess with, we messed with Sophia. Me and Harry messed with Sophia when she messed yeah. up her soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were just like, wow, Sophia, lock in, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it was like, she was like, I'm sick of y'all. You need to go away. And I'm like, look. <laughs> we know you're good, bro. Yeah. We know Jenny's good, bro. Relax. She's buddy. literally the first chair. Right. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, we're gonna tell you you're bad or you're the best at your instrument. Not only in your section, in the top band. So really the school? Like what? Like, that's all I'd be messing with people, man. People people some people don't understand that I'd be messing yeah. with people. But you know, it's all good. It's all good. It's a good humor, bro. It's, it's good it's good humor, bro. Um Final question. Final question. We'll say, uh, when this whole experience is done, like you go back to Japan, what would you feel like will be like so far is the biggest thing you've taken out of it? This whole trip. Oh, so like I like I really like Japan now, like. You have a great appreciation for home now? Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's like you know what? We give it America. Maybe it's not so bad. Like, just... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. I didn't notice, but, but I, like, I, after I actually, like, being separated from Japan, like, mm -hmm. I appreciate it now. You appreciate yeah, it more. So that's one thing I get. And my English got better that's one thing too so like yeah i i've i've got a lot of thing during this like five months yeah, your, your english was never really bad when you for when i first spoke to you like, oh really no it wasn't, it wasn't bad like i never i'm also very good at understanding people because also mm -hmm. my grandmother's like puerto rican and she has like a heavy accent so i'm very good at like but even then your, your english has never been bad like I'm pretty sure, like when this will go through, people will understand what you're saying. It's not gonna oh. be like put on subtitles. <laughs> like, like, like that's no. Okay, that's good. So yeah, no, your English has always been, always been pretty good. Um, it was just funny when they was announced that we were gonna get a foreign exchange student because mm -hmm. it was gonna because the last foreign exchange student, uh, she stayed with Maggie. Yeah. So I was just like, Maggie, you just collect trade one in for another. Like interesting. <laughs> um, but yeah, then we, uh, but. Uh, no, no, it's been it's been a pleasure having you, sir. Thank you. It's been a pleasure having Thank you, you. Uh, and I appreciate because this was all his idea, by the way. This yeah. was all his idea because yeah. he does YouTube. Link will be down below for his stuff, his Instagram, and his uh, uh, and his YouTube channel. Go support him. He's great, great people. You recorded a video on there, like we said. Uh, whenever that will be up, I'll post it on my stories and stuff. Um, but for now, go support him. Yeah, this was his idea. He hit me up and he was like, "Hey, I saw you had a YouTube channel. We, we should record sometime." Mm. Uh, and I'm glad we did. It was a fun time. I, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. So you're welcome anytime to come over. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna bring Maggie next time. That'll be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be great. Yeah. That's gonna be fantastic. I, 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 I'm excited. I'll be excited for that yeah. one. Yeah. I just in general, whenever you want to come over, like I said, music wise, mm. you recording just to hang out. Yeah, I'm all down, man. Yeah, appreciate you for Thank coming. You. Of course, Thank you. of course, of course. Uh, like I said, thank y'all for watching. Like I said, please go support this event, man. Ota, uh, the goat, the goat saxophone, whatever saxophone you think is good, you're wrong. He's better. <laughs> uh, stay safe. Love y'all. Stay hydrated. Bye bye. Bye.